Snakes pee crystals, solid crystals. Look at this, that's snake pee. And you know what's really wild? Studying it is actually helping us understand this human disease. Meet Simba. He's a ball python, and while his pee looks like this, the pee from a lot of other species looks like this, even when their diets are the same. So a herpetologist asked a material scientist to help him figure out why the difference. So they analyzed a bunch of samples by x-ray crystallography, and they discovered that pee from ancient species, like pythons and boas, is mostly uric acid nanocrystals that are smushed into these microspheres. Meanwhile, pee from species that evolved later, like rattlesnakes, is mostly ammonium urate, but they still found microspheres which gave the researchers an idea. They did an experiment to show that the uric acid in Simba's pee can react with free ammonia to create insoluble ammonium urate, which means that uric acid as a waste product could have evolved into a way to manage ammonia, which is a neurotoxin. In humans, uric acid can build up in the form of kidney stones or gout, which are very painful. But if that buildup helped protect us from the excess ammonia that can happen from liver or kidney disease, well, it could have been worth it, evolutionarily speaking. So thank you, Simba, for teaching us something about ourselves.